Hi everyone, this is Megan. I am going to be teaching you about the blood-brain barriers. So here I have a diagram of a healthy brain and a unhealthy brain. As you can see, it's half and half. So what is a blood-brain barrier? The blood-brain barrier describes the unique properties of the microvasculature of the central nervous system. The short term for that is BBB and CNS. CNS vessels are continuous non fenestrated vessels, but also continue a series of additional properties that allow them to tightly regulate the movement of molecules, ions, and cells between the CNS. This heavily restricted barrier ca capacity allows BBBs, ECs, to tightly regulate CNS homeostasis. That is critical to allow for proper neural, neural function also protects the CNS from toxic pathogens, toxins, pathogens, inflammation, injury, and diseases. Since BBBs are restricted, that makes it very hard for drugs for drug delivery to CNS. BBB can cause a lot of serious neurological disease like stroke, MS, brain tumors, and neurodegenerative disorders. This next slide. I have these pictures that shows the cells. Um, in picture A is a vascular cast of a spinal cord showing density of CNS. In picture B here shows the electron um, micrograph of cross section of a CNS vessel decepting a relationship among ECs, parasites, and astrocytes. And let me get my little pencil. Here are the parasites. Here is the astrocytes. And then here are the ECs. And then in picture C, this is a magnified picture of the EM of ECs showing the relationship among ECs with tight junction, basement membranes, and astrocytes and feet. So again, here's the PCs, the AE, the TJ, and then again, the ECs right there. In picture D, this is showing the somatic re uh, representation of the cell types within neurovascular unit. In picture E, this is showing the immunofluorescence micrograph decepting relationship of PCs, which are the red spots right here and here, and then. Um, and then with ECs, and that is everything that is green. And then in picture F is micrograph de decepting relationship of astrocytes with blood vessels that are unstained. And then here, how pathogens get through the blood brain barrier. Microbes that cross the BBB through the transcellular method across into the CNS through the epithelial cells. They gain access to the liminal side of the blood vessel epithelial. Then they transverse through the epithelial cells. Then these microbes exit through the other side of the cell as you can see from here 
And that is exactly what they're doing till they get to the very end there. And then here is the tight junction that I was talking about in the prior slide. And then the epithelial cell being right there. This image shows us the components of the blood-brain barrier, a collection of blood vessels that filter what goes in and out of the brain. The blood-brain barrier is the greatest obstacle when it comes to treating cancer that has spread to the brain. When the cancer invades the brain, the blood-brain barrier turns into a blood tumor, or excuse me, a brain tumor barrier which still creates a roadblock for effective drug delivery to the brain. And you can see all of this stuff there. Here we have nanoparticles. Nano, and this shows what nanopart nanoparticles look like. And here you can see that all of this right here is plaque. And then you can see the blood trying to get through the plaque, which is very hard because as you can see right here, it is very close together, which causes the interruption of the blood flow. Um, nanoparticles is a selective accumulated of active substance in target tissues has been demonstrated for, cer for certain so-called systems that are bound to pharmaceutical drugs. Nanoparticles are placed on nano nanocarrier systems that, that can overcome BBB and transport the medicine directly into the tissues um, in need and can then heal the neurological disease that were formerly incurable. There was so much information on all of the blood brain barriers that I tried giving you guys the most important parts to it. Here are my references where I've got all of my information. Thank you guys.